Janik Sinner defeated Taylor Fritz in straight sets to win his first U.S. Open title. Former world no. 7 Chanda Rubin has warned Janik Sinner that he shouldn't be allowed back in America after defeating home favorite Taylor Fritz 636475 to lift the U.S. Open title. The world no. 1 extended his lead at the top of the rankings after shrugging off the controversy surrounding his positive drug test this year. He put another American to the sword, beating Fritz in just 2 hours and 16 minutes in the final. Sinner defeated American Mackenzie McDonald in the first round of the U.S. Open before dispatching his compatriot Alex Michelson in the following round. The new U.S. Open champion was handed another tie against an American in the fourth round, where he fought off Tommy Paul in two tiebreakers before downing the world no. 12-6-1 in the third set. Dot Fritz was then dismantled with relative ease in the U.S. Open final, the biggest stage of all for any American tennis player as their wait for a champion extended another year. Andy Roddick was the last American male to win the singles final at Flushing Meadows in 2003. It has been an impressive year in North America for the Italian, having lifted titles at the Miami Open and Cincinnati Masters as well. Proving to be somewhat of a problem, especially for players from the U.S. Dot and Rubin, who reached the fourth round of her home Grand Slam on three occasions, joked that Sinner could be banned from returning to the States. Steve Weissman, hosting the Tennis Channel Live podcast, noted Sinner's four wins over Americans and suggested, I hate to say it, guys, but I think we are going to have to deport him. Rubin agreed to the tongue-in-cheek plan and replied, He shouldn't be allowed back in this country. Unfortunately, for more home stars hoping to win in New York, Sinner will be welcomed back to the U.S. Open next year as the defending champion.